Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Transformers Legacy United Voyager Class Animated Motor Master. You can see him there in front of his box. You can go ahead and put him off the side real quick and hey, we're gonna look at said box and here look, there's Motor Master in his truck mode and then Legacy United Voyager Class Transformers and Generations of Cartoon Hasbro and, Toe, and all that stuff in his you know animated universe Septicon Motor Master 8 Plus and on the top you have Legacy United. On the side you have Hey Larry's ro robot mode including the up close face and right there. On the side here you have a uh, 40 years, you know, and uh, of course the line wide artwork and on the bottom you have some Inform, um, information includes ones included and whatnot, and on the back you have, so of course, copyrights, warnings, and a couple product shots, and 40 years anniversary change or authentic transformers, and all that stuff. I'm tripping over my words. <laughs> also included is the uh, instructions, which you know, if you already have the uh, Optimus, this is pretty, uh, pretty straightforward to you know figure out. So uh, there you go. So. Animated Motor Master, yes. Uh, animated Motor Master, which if you remember was a BotCon, was a 2008, I believe, exclusive? Or was it 2009? One of the two. 2008 or 2009 exclusive part of the uh, the Stunticon job box set, which included repaints of, of various uh, animated toys as uh, Stunticons, including Optimus as Motor Master. And uh, what was it? Uh, it was Jazz as Wild Rider, I think. Was it Wild Rider was dead. No, Jazz is Dead End. Lockdown as Wild Rider. Uh, I think it was Rodimus as Breakdown, and then RC as Drag Strip. Yeah. Anyway, try. Right. Um, so yeah, they did a repaint of the animated Optimus into a you know kind of an homage to the Botcon exclusive. And yeah, getting in close there, uh, you can see cool cool stuff going on. Which is yeah, you got the box head and everything, but the big old his big old like handlebar mustache and uh, goatee and everything. Very angry look, you know. You know, trapped in the box, you know. But yeah, you got the black with the purple uh, windows. You got the green uh, lights and everything. A little Decepticon symbol right there. You got a bit of gray right here in the purple and the green. And just looks really nice. You got that little bit of black down here as well. And I guess, you know, cleans up pretty well overall. Yeah, there's also this piece, which, you know, comes separate in the box. But, you know, it's pretty clear where it's supposed to, where it's supposed to go. You know, right there like that. And uh, but there you go. That's uh, kind of a close-up. And once again, one of the cool thing is he is kind of sculpted to do the whole, you know, kind of the swoopy, you know, kind of stance thing going on. So you can see that right there. Yep, yeah, that's pretty cool right there. And of course, he comes with his uh, the axe, which done in nice translucent purple. Looks really nice overall, a little kind of lacking a bit in paint. No, not really a lot of paint on there. There's a big gunmetal right here. But yeah, of course, you can hold that like so. And... Mine, mine is actually a bit stiff, but yeah, you can hold that like that. Or, of course, you can, uh, if you want, uh, I'm going to show it again because I showed it in the animated office, or tried to anyway. You can stand it out and have him hold, uh, hold it with both hands, although, uh, against again, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get him into a pose it looks decent with, so uh, there's that. Yeah, um, I'm not going to try to show it again, though, because, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. But yeah, um, there's that, and of course, you can uh, then... You store the axe back here like that if you want, and there you go. There's weapon storage, and that's uh, pretty much the accessories. That, that's his entire accessory count is that axe. So, uh, yeah, posability, head, is on a ball joints. You got left and right. You got up and down. You got forward or forward and back. You got waggle and all that stuff. There's all and there's a hinge as well. So there's a lot of posability in the head. Shoulders can do full rotation right there. You got outward right there. You have a bicep swivel right there. You got a double jointed elbow right there. Wrists can swivel like so. That can come off. The waist can swivel pretty easily. Hips can go forward and back like that. Outward like so. Almost full splits. You got a thigh swivel. Knee bend. Pretty good knee bend right there. And down here at the feet, you do have ankle tilt about that far. And thanks to transformation, you can, you know, kind of push them back and, you know, back and forward on that hinge right there and use that for various poses. So, yep, there you go. Uh, Animated Motor Master, really, really good looking repaint. It's, I, I like a good repaint, a black repaint. I mean, not quite the one I would be hoping for from Optimus. You know, I'd mostly prefer, you know, Nemesis Prime, but hey. Black repaint, black and purple repaint is okay, A-OK -okay in my book. Anyway, as a bit of comparison, here is, of course, the Legacy Universe animated Optimus. good looking you know pretty much the same size different head um on the, this one doesn't have the chipping this one does <laughs> yeah uh he's standing funny 
There we go. Yeah. Overall, there's that. As for if we're, are we, are we going to get more Centicons, anime Centicons? Uh, I guess it would basically depend if we get more animated characters in general, because uh, yeah, <laughs> it'd be nice if you know if they did get them, they'd find you know then third party figure out a way to make them combine into a Metamosaur. But <laughs> regardless, it's it's still pretty cool we got this just a random Botcon exclusive guy. So there you go. Um, but transformation first, of course. Get this out of his hand. We'll put that outside for now. Now, uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Yeah, first, uh, the hands. I want to go ahead and open up the forearm, like so. Comes out the side and, you know, fold the fist away and then close that back up. Open up the forearm, fold the fist away and close it back. Close it back up like so. Then take the, uh, then take the forearm, then take the arm here and just fold it up and, like this and just, you know, click into place and fold this up and click that into place like so. Like so, like that. And that just kind of get that taken care of and get those, you know, out there like that. Now, as for the rest of it, what we want to do here on here is take the little feet and just kind of extend those down like so. Take the uh, leg here and just bring that out like that. And same thing, bring this out like so. And then kind of leave that for now. Oop, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of leave that out for now. Actually, kind of bring that out like this, and then yeah, tab that together. It's a key, kind of a key tab. So you want to slide it together, like back and forth, not just push it together. Kind of leave that all like that for now. Um, up here at the chest, you want to go ahead and bring this forward. And one thing I didn't mention in the Optimus Brew is cook, which is a cool thing detail. I'm not sure how it's going to pick up on here, but you can see there's actually uh, little molded details like a steer like a, a steering wheel and whatnot which is pretty cool i did not notice that with the optimus and someone pointed out like oh that's neat i have to point that out yeah and of course you also take this and bring this out like so which then frees this up you can bring the, bring these out right here bring this out like that and like so and then you go ahead and bring this back and see whether i yeah, bring it right, rotate it right here Bring this up like this, so. And then when you want to go go, blah, go ahead and do here, and then go ahead and straighten these thing pieces out right like this. Yeah. Bring them up like so. This start heading, start folding these down back down, and also bring these down as well. Although yeah, you want to rotate these like that. And rotate this like that. Bring that down. Bring it down. Kind of, and bring this up right here like that. And this will kind of bring that. Bring this down. If it goes in, this will tab into place like there. And then bring this up. And bring, tab that into place like that. Bring this up over top. I know I'm on a, on my motor master here. I'm noticing that uh. This part doesn't cooperate very well. It's worse than the Optimus. This this roof piece does not like to cooperate like in the slightest. Doesn't like to line up, doesn't like to cooperate. So let's see how well it pl plays on the camera. Yeah, uh, get that there and then plug the front of the truck in like that. Yeah, see, it's already kind of coming undone. And then back here, um, what you want to do is uh, bring these up further like this and then Bring it out like that, and bring this out like that, and then bring this up. This gonna there's a little slot right here, which this is gonna go, kind of kind of notch into a bit. Yeah, like that. It's gonna click into place, and this will tab in right there as well. Yeah, because there's, there's yeah, there's little tabs right here, which will tab in the leg. Like that. Bring that forward and tab that in, and then bring these down. These will peg in right here, like that. And then this right here, these tabs right here will go in these little slots right there, like so. And uh, there we go. Uh, that's Motor Master in his vehicle mode. Yep, that sure is a purple and black uh, futuristic looking well, cartoon truck thing. You can see again, green went, green lights, purple windows. A lot more purple kind of on the back or the bottom part right here. The uh, Once again, the feet don't exactly sit uh, perfectly straight, which is interesting. But uh, I've noticed a couple of the joints are a little different from the animated Optimus. Um, these are a little tighter overall. The shoulders are a little tighter. 
Um, but the legs are the like the shin pieces are a little looser, so it's like it's kind of weird. Uh, this thing is not super cooperative. Again, the roof is not super cooperative. That was the best I've hand like it was the best it's ever been for me. I've had after a couple transformations on this one, so it's that. And of course, he still has little hidden wheels because of his weird design. And he still rolls pretty decently, although these wheels are not hooking up for some reason. Yeah, the center wheels are not hooking up. There we go. Even then, they're kind of a lot of friction on those. But yeah. So overall, um, pretty good looking truck again. It's the animated truck and I do generally like it. And again, as I pointed out before, this kind of, you know, little mystery like like slots and stuff that aren't really used, which, hmm, I mean, we already have DNA designed is, well, they are doing the Power Master animated Optimus, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's gonna be coming soon. I'm gonna be definitely reviewing that. But yeah, um, maybe they'll be able, someone will be able to make a, if we ever get animated Stunticons as a whole, maybe someone will be able to make a trailer for this guy that also becomes the framework for a Manasaur. Who knows? Anyway, uh, this, you know, the axe once again, can you know, uh, peg on the back? Kind of. All right, this, this, this peg right here, I almost forgot. Yeah, it's that peg on that hole right there. You can peg on the back like that, you know, if you want. A storage, that's the best storage you got. But yeah. Um, Looks goofy, but you know, that's the storage you can use in vehicle mode. So yeah, that's uh vehicle mode as a whole whole. So real quick comparison. Here's the uh animated Optimus legacy version anyway. Yeah, you can see. Hey look, it's the same truck, just you know, different colors and yeah, this one, you know, the different you can see this kind of more like paint on this one versus you know, this one just all black and those are not staying together for some reason. Why are you doing this? Why do you betray me, Optimus? <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, as a whole, oh uh, yeah, he's a, he's got more paint up here. You can see. Yeah, as a whole, I made a Motor Master. As a whole, pretty good. Um, it's pretty good overall. It's pretty much the same thing as animated Optimus. It's a pretty solid uh, looking figure. He's got the cool, just get the goofy mu handlebar mustache and everything. The very what was. It's very goofy looking and I do kind of like it as a whole, but yeah, it's just, um, it's more of the same if you're an animated Optimus, but it's just in different color scheme. So whether or not this is, you know, appealing to you is kind of up to you on that one, but I think it was pretty, I thought it was pretty neat. And now I can have, you know, one in the regular thing and I can have this Optimus in his, uh, attached to the DNA kit and everything and it'll be fine. It'll be cool. Um, I think one of the things that about this guy is basically is he gonna is are the other animated stunticons gonna be a thing or not and that's kind of i think gonna be a deciding factor for a lot of people because a lot of people are gonna be like all or none and the problem is if you wait too long these things might disappear and go up in price while all the other animated stunticons start coming out and then you'll so you know, there's that whole thing but regardless overall it's still a really solid toy on its own if you didn't really want the animated optimus for whatever reason maybe consider picking up the men the motor master here He's still pretty, he's still a, it's still a good mold overall. And just diff this color scheme might be more appealing to you than the Optus. I don't know. And, or, or just the, the cool face sculpt, sculpt. Cause just that handlebar mustache, man. Come on. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, still good mold, but maybe superfluous if you don't really, you know, if you already have the Optimus. So, uh, or, and may not be, may not be appealing to you without the other Stunticons. I don't know. Anyway, thirty-five dollars at retail because it's a Voyager. So you know, you saw what you, you saw how it was and everything. The, comp, the transformation's not too bad, and there you go. So uh, that's it for this review. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my social media down in the description and at the end of the video. Check out my coffee and my Patreon. And I'll see you next time with another video review.